Greetings YouTube, it is I, Revenge of the Fallen. I'm skipping the intro and beginning my commentary on Anissian's Murder Eaters video since it's over 10 minutes long, so without further ado, let's begin. Let me ask you something, if you murder animals on a regular basis, do you really think I give a f about your opinion? The only people who murder animals are those who do so for a living, such as hunters or butchers. You can say we're murderers by degree since we bought the meat from the people who killed the animals, but even then, that's assuming that the term murder applies to animals as it does to human beings. But I will applaud you for having a strong moral conviction that you're unwilling to compromise no matter how much hate you receive. Though, if you do receive enough hate, you will delete your videos like a cowardly pussy. Do you really think I care if you want to see a comedy bit or you don't quite agree with all of my opinions when you f***ing murder f***ing animals? Considering you began your YouTube career creating comedy videos, I think that's to be expected. I mean, could you imagine how my subscribers would feel if all of a sudden I went Venom Fang X on them and began creating Christian apologetic videos? I'm sure they would feel cheated. Granted, it's my channel and I can do whatever I like, but if I care about my subscribers, I'm going to take their thoughts into consideration, unlike you. Today I'm going to expose how f***ing stupid most of you are by replying to your comments through video. Know what? Let's begin a drinking game. Whenever Vinician insults his viewers, take a drink. Now, if at any point you're so offended that you're going to curl up in a ball and cry, or you somehow feel that I'm violating you by giving you my opinion, or my facts as they are, or rather, your opinions parading as facts, by all means, there's a little yellow button to the upper right of the screen that says unsub scribe so go ahead and f***ing click it anytime. I'm surprised you managed to maintain your subscriber count even after this fatal stunt. I would have assumed that this video would have cost you your YouTube career, but I'm guessing there's something about talent as attention whores that attracts subscribers like moths to a flame. Here's the first comment. Another self-righteous vegetarian trying to push his lifestyle on all of us. I don't give a f*** if you think animals are cute. I will continue to eat them. Thank you, humanitarian. You showed me how much better than me you are by saying that you don't care about other living creatures. Good job. Just because people eat meat doesn't mean they don't care for other living creatures. Suppose this person donated to starving children in Africa. Would you still say he doesn't care about living things? Or does he have to care about all living things equally? And don't worry, I'll cover the hypocrisy of that statement in a while. I'm sure that for your statement, one, two, three, zero people will thank you. Maybe no one will thank him, but most won't give a crap either, as most people don't value the life of an animal the same way they value the life of a human being. And as far as self-righteous goes, hell yeah I'm self-righteous, I don't murder anything. Neither do I or anyone else who eats meat, since number one, most of us don't kill our own animals, and number two, we don't consider killing animals murder any more than we think killing plants is murder. Do you even know the definition of self-righteous? Well, let me give you something that clearly few others have. Education. To be self-righteous is to be confident in one's own morals. Smugly so. I just looked that definition up in the dictionary, and I happened to find your picture right next to it. What about eating fish? I mean, God put fish on this earth. Okay, stop right there. Listen, chum, if you're going to respectively argue something that's based on facts, not fiction, you might not want to include God in the mix. That's probably the only legitimate thing you said in this video. I mean, I believe in God, but if I'm going to debate ethics or morals with someone, unless they're part of the same religion as I am, I'm not going to mention God or the Bible. What would it matter to them if they don't believe in either? That would be like a Muslim telling me not to eat pork because Allah said so in the Quran. I don't believe in either, why should I care? That said, I find your dismissal to be kind of harsh, especially if you had any Christian subscribers. Oh, and as for respectfully arguing something that's based on fact, not fiction, wouldn't that require facts, if not respect, on your part as well? Because I fail to see any. I'm sorry, Greg. I still like meat. I care for animals, but I eat meat. No, you don't care for animals because you eat meat. You just canceled yourself out right there. Just because I'm eating you doesn't mean I don't care. <laughs> it's perfectly possible to eat meat and care for animals. You can care for animals like cats or dogs and eat animals like chickens and pigs. I think The Amazing Atheist gave an excellent example of a man who raised a pet pig and still ate bacon and ham. As he said, you can care for your own kind and not care about everyone else's kids. Just because you can eat some animals doesn't mean you don't care for all others. Dude, what makes you think that you're right and absolutely true? Just because you're different doesn't make everybody else crap. Well, let's see here. We're living beings and we like being alive, right? So if we kill other beings that probably like being alive, hmm, that's not really something that we have to debate now, is it? Stop right there. 
You admit that your moral standard is that we should care for all living creatures that like being alive, yet you have no problem eating plants, taking antibiotics when you're sick, or defending the right of women to kill their unborn children. If you're going to argue that we should care for all living creatures that like being alive, that should literally mean all living creatures that like being alive, not just the ones you personally care for. Oh wait, yes it is, because you guys are morons! Let me tell you what, dude, if someone comes in your house and carves you up and eats you, what are you gonna say about that? Dad, I'm a human being with dignity and worth, please don't do this. Are you gonna say, please don't carve up my family, please don't eat everyone I've ever met, I don't deserve this kind of pain? Here's a better question, who the hell wouldn't say that? Oh wait, yes you do, because you've been doing it to other living beings. Seriously, if you're a meat eater and anything bad happens to you, whether you get a burn or your arm cut off, I'm not gonna feel sorry for you. You know, you're beginning to sound like a crazy pro-life protest who goes out, kills an abortionist, and claims he deserved it because he killed unborn children. In fact, a lot of your videos could pass for pro-life propaganda if you simply substituted the word animal with embryo. The ironic thing is that you fight tooth and nail to defend an animal's right to live, yet have no problem with women killing their unborn children. Wanna know why? It's obvious at this point. I personally eat meat and won't stop and don't feel I should. I don't think that we can be compared to animals in terms of behavior. Well, that's funny because everybody else who's supporting your kind of statements does think that we should be compared to animals. Those who hump randomly sniff rectums and eat cat So, eating animals leads to sniffing rectums and eating cat shit. And then they go on to say, in my religion, animals are killed. Whoops, stop, you just mentioned religion again. Congratulations, your argument is pointless. Anissian, every video you make is pointless. Humans are supposed to eat meat. If you only eat plants, you don't get some of the vitamins and proteins you need. Try a f***ing bowl of cereal, you twit. Watch the video next time before you comment. You are correct in saying that you don't have to eat meat in order to get the nutrients thereof. For example, you can easily get protein from eating beans and rice. However, this doesn't mean that anyone can give up eating meat outright, or even that we shouldn't eat meat. But I'll get to that later. Find a new topic besides vegetarianism and racism. Christ, I'm so bored that I get close to unsubscribing. Unsubscribe now! Do it! Click the button, goodbye! Once again, I'm amazed that you still have subscribers at this point. I guess your subs enjoy being verbally abused. I am talking about life and death. I'm sorry you don't appreciate the life of other living beings, but I happen to. No, you don't. You only care about the lives of humans and animals. You don't care about the lives of human embryos, plants, or bacteria. As I said before, if your moral stance is that all living creatures that like being alive deserve to live, then that should literally mean all living creatures that like being alive, not just the ones you think deserve to be alive. But trust me, as soon as people are murdering you genocide style, I will be there to back you, but until then, I'm gonna fight for something that matters. I'm guessing you support the Holocaust on your plate campaign? It's opinion, really. If people like me, they can eat me. Yeah, if they like human flesh, they can eat human flesh. If they like molesting children, they can molest children. If they like raping women, they can rape women. Really valid opinion you have there, Twitch. I agree that morals are objective rather than subjective, but there really is no objective reason, scientific or philosophical, to suppose that animals have the same right to live as human beings. I personally won't eat beef, pork, veal, or lamb. I think it's cruel to eat lamb and veal because they're babies. I don't know if you caught that, but the person writing that comment doesn't eat beef, pork, or lamb, but he does eat chicken. So cows, pigs, and sheep deserve to live, but not chickens. How does that even work? Do you remember anything that happened as a baby? Thank you for eating them when they're old enough to know what the f**k's going on. Wouldn't want to make it so the animal doesn't suffer a lot, because then you couldn't taste the fear in their flesh. So even if you believed killing animals is wrong, you would find it less morally repugnant to kill a baby animal rather than an older animal? Gee, I wouldn't be surprised if you're a fan of Peter Singer. Surely you must be racist too, because if you're dirt mining the meat eaters as a whole, then you see blacks in the same way and Asians, etc. Okay. As it turns out, you're only black if you make certain decisions in life, and you're only Asian if you make certain decisions in life. No, but you are black or Asian because of the decisions your parents made in life. hi -yo. You're right, I'm racist as f because I'm picking on people that can change their ways anytime and find the light. Not necessarily true. Some people can't go vegetarian or vegan. Noom26 said that she tried to go vegan, but became physically ill to the point that her doctor advised her not to give up meat. So sorry, Anissian, it's not that simple.
meat. No, no, no. If you eat meat, you're stuck on it for life. You're stuck at birth and you can't change who you are. That's called bullshit. Do you also think homosexuals can change who they are? I'm f***ing serious, guys. Half of these comments can be trumped by me looking in the dictionary alone. I can easily debunk your entire video by looking in the dictionary alone, as the definition of murder only applies to persons. In other words, human beings. Oh, and... If you are going to call people who eat meat criminal, then join us, because you walk on the ground and kill bugs all the time. Let me ask you something. What is the alternative to walking around? Well, you can easily look down on the ground and make sure not to step on anything. That's something you can do, right? Because as far as I know, making some kind of ground contact in order to get from one point to another is something that I cannot avoid. I am giving you people a simple alternative to eating meat, and you turn me down and say, no, I like murdering, it's cool. Once again, people who eat meat usually don't eat their own animals. Even if they did, murder does not apply to animals, only humans. I love the taste of flesh because I'm a piece of f***ing so you're right about that. If there's an alternative to walking around, then show it to me. But don't be so profoundly stupid and ask me to do something as to sit in one place for the rest of my life. Well, as I said, you can always look where you're going, or you can do as Annie Boo 86 suggested and carry a broom around and sweep the path before you like the Janes do. My beef, so to speak, is not with people who can only survive on meat. Considering we need the nutrition that comes from meat, that would include everyone. My issue, rather, is people who do it for pleasure, and they're in denial of it. I'm not in denial. I do take pleasure in eating meat, and I don't feel a shred of guilt, because I believe that animals are not the same thing as human beings. The selfish and ignorant murderers by choice. As far as me eating meat to survive, however, I'm still leaning towards killing myself. Why don't you do us all a favor and do that already? Because unlike most every single one of you selfish, horrible human beings out there, I don't prioritize my life before all other creatures. Anyboo86 also mentioned this. If you live in a house, or any neighborhood for that matter, you're living on property that was once an animal habitat, but was demolished for your own convenience. So congratulations, Anissian. You stole land from animals. If you want to point the finger and ridicule someone, go look in the f***ing mirror. Because wake up, you freak, when you look through your window and see a monster, I gotta break it to you. That's your goddamn reflection. Saw a monster in the mirror when I woke up today. A monster in my mirror, but I did not run away. I did not shed a tear or hide beneath my bed. Though the monster looked at me and this is what he said. He said, wubba, 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 woo, woo, woo. Wubba 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 and a doodly doo He sang wubba 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 so I sang it too Do not wubba me or I will wubba you Do not wubba me or I will wubba you Do you think that an animal would take the same pity on you? No! Now let me ask you a counter question when was the last time you heard an animal speak English? When was the last time you saw an animal driving a car or even dress itself? That's the difference, you child. We have so many capabilities that animals do not. Thank you for addressing the reasons why most people don't consider animals on the same level as human beings, and thus why animals don't have the same right to life. It's time we stop comparing ourselves and justifying our actions based on them. It's time to be an adult about this situation, a mature individual, and stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Why don't you take your own advice on being a mature adult. And also, as I said before, you're sounding like a pro-life protester, which, once again, is highly ironic since you don't think human fetuses have the same right to life you think animals have. It's funny seeing as how you eat living plants. I just want to take this opportunity to thank this individual for looking through the comments to realize that they are not original. A little suggestion to everyone who wants to argue with me. If you're gonna argue something about plants, at least have a goddamn garden. What if the guy who wrote that did have a garden? What then? Furthermore, what he's trying to say is that there's no more reason to think animals have a right to live any more than there is to think plants do. If your argument is that all living creatures that enjoy being alive deserve to live, well, I'm not repeating myself. The same goes for animals. If you're going to try to devalue them, at least try to meet one. In the 23 years I've been alive, I've owned two dogs, five cats, several goldfish, and even several chickens. I've also been to plenty of zoos and parks, and yet I still believe that animals are not on the same plane as human beings, and thus are okay to eat. Take a leg from a cow and that sh** does not grow back. Which is why we kill the whole cow and eat every ounce of it. 
Take a branch from a tree and the potential is unlimited. We're doing cows a favor. After all, how many cows are there in the world? And how many would there be if we didn't eat them? Guess how many cows would there be if we didn't force breed them? How many cows would there be if we stopped demanding them? If we all stopped buying meat from the grocery store, would it keep on appearing magically? This is another legitimate point you make, though one that hardly justifies your position.